Hey, what's up y'all? Today I'm gonna to show you how to edit a vlog in Premiere Pro, but first, I need to get some new shoes. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Check this out. That's that's not supposed to happen. This needs to get fixed. Vans, 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 or the vans, and the vans, or the vans. I like these, but I'm, look I'm looking for more options. Okay, I have to pull on the experts on this one. I hit up Angel for his opinion while we're waiting. I can talk to you a little bit about vlogging. While I'm shooting, I'm also thinking about how I'm gonna edit it. That's what makes vlogging so hard is, it's not like a talking heads video where you can just lay out everything beforehand and just talk to the camera. So if you wanna think of it as like you're editing while you're shooting, that's how I think of it. Oh, I just, he just responded. All right, let's get some shoes. <laughs> Got the shoes and now we are going home so i'm going to show you guys how to edit this vlog i'll see you guys there all right now we are home i have my new shoes and now we're actually going to edit this thing before i get into the actual edit i just want to talk about why premiere for vlogs i like to edit in premiere because i use premiere every single day for my business and for talking heads videos i know it very well and there are also some features that you that you can't find in other programs. Like one of my favorites is the essential sound panel. And then of course the essential graphics panel, which is a huge improvement from the legacy title maker from like the Premiere CS6 days. And I also have editing experience in other programs. So I've done TV shows in Final Cut. I've done corporate videos in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's actually like sit down and uh, edit this thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go to the audio workspace I'm gonna select everything that I've recorded and I'm going to hit dialogue. And then I could go up to essential sound, select dialogue and make changes to everything that I selected before. So here I'm gonna go into loudness. I'm gonna hit auto match and then it'll say auto match to target loudness of negative 23 lefts. I can also repair it, reduce background noise. I use that sometimes. Clip volume, I use that one a lot, so. I'll select level and then I can adjust it, bring it up, and then we're ready to start editing. So I'm gonna edit this vlog in chunks, much like how I Justine edits. This is one of two very popular ways to edit. The other is with passes. That method is really good for talking heads videos like Linus Tech Tips. Taryn made a tutorial about editing in this style, but chunk editing is much better in my opinion for vlogs and stuff. So I think if we're gonna mark out the first chunk, it's gonna it's probably gonna be when I'm getting out of the car here. Yeah. I need to get some new shoes. Ooh, I need that to be a lot tighter. So I like my vlogs to be very fast paced. I can't stand slow vlogs. So this one, I'm like looking at my hand. I want to cut like right on the action. So if we play it. I need it, to get some new shoes. Then we'll transition to the car. I'm gonna get a few different versions of that. Oh yeah, so if I do an action like here where I cover the camera, I'll do it over and over again so that when I'm editing, I have different options. See, vlogging really isn't just as simple as, you know, like saying where I am and recording it. Uh, some vlogs are like that, but I personally don't find those interesting. In order to make like a compelling vlog, you do need to kind of edit while you're shooting. So now this is, this is the whole chunk pretty much. This part is me driving. So this is me covering the camera and then this is me making it to the shoe store. Now the problem, is I didn't film anything. And that's because it is very unsafe to operate a camera while driving a motor vehicle. So I don't. And that's where stock footage comes in. I personally use video blocks for my stock footage. So here I'm just gonna look up streets probably. And I also have my own footage just like from the past, other projects or just random clips where I just dump random stuff I might need someday. Also, we can go ahead and choose the music right now. I'm gonna hop into Epidemic Sound and I actually have a playlist just for vlogs. <laughs> I'll download a few songs. I'm not going to use all of them, but I want to download them so I can put them in the sequence and just feel them, like see if they fit. So let's bring those into the project. See how this feels. I need to get some new shoes. It feels like an episode of Community. Uh, I love Community, but we're not going to use that. Not, not the right vibe. <laughs> Let's try my old uh, intro song. Hey, what's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how to edit a vlog in Premiere Pro. First, get some shoes. Is this what you want now? This was stuff that I got on a road trip, but it works here too. 
Oh, yeah, uh, you saw me do this earlier. We're also going to lock the music so that when I ripple delete and stuff, it won't affect it because you don't want the music to change. Like the music is supposed to be the one consistent clip that's the same clip throughout. So by locking it, no matter what you do up here, it will not move whatever is locked. This clip is very long because uh, I didn't, it, I'm in a store. I don't want to be like, hey, what's up guys? We're in a store, you know, because the staff is going to come over and be like, dude, what are you doing? So here I'm just pointing at my feet. I don't really record anyone else. Actually, this is this is a popular vlog shot. Like a lot of people record their feet walking. But in this case, it's just so I'm not like filming anyone else who doesn't want to be in the vlog. There is copyrighted music in the background and that's not good. So we're going to uh, try repair, reduce noise. Uh, it's probably going to sound like a MacBook, but it's mostly like lace bands, not the slip ons. Ah. Okay. Can we hear the music though? About how I'm going to edit it. So I'm thinking, what's the next shot? All right. I'd say that chunk is pretty much done now. So if you use Premiere to edit your vlogs, let me know down below. Why do you like using Premiere to do that? I personally love using Premiere because of the essential sound panel. It makes it, it makes it a lot easier to do audio and essential graphics of course makes it a lot easier to get graphics much easier than the old title generator uh from like the cs6 days let me know that down below in the comment section thanks for watching this video make sure if you liked it hit that like button down below and let me know and also hit subscribe i post videos just like this one twice a week well not just like this one i also talk about business uh, i do vlogs and editing tutorials if that's the kind of content you like to watch you can check out my channel down below thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace Okay.